Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Omnicraft. I'm Mr. Zurius and today we're doing something very special. We're going to go through and we're going to kill the Ender Dragon. Finally! So we're just waiting for a few more of the guys in the server to catch up and then we're going to jump straight into the end portal. Right, now we just need to put the last eye in. Here we go everyone. Oh. What? Okay, after that little mishap we're all ready. Let's tell the guys to jump in. Go! Oh, I think we nearly pushed everyone off the platform. Did someone bring blocks? Oh, I hear someone building. Oh, okay, boink's already off. Well, I mean, I've already done this, so I can just jump off, take a little glide and shoot into the air with my rocket. Bye, guys. See you at the end. Well, we're at the end. Oh, Christ, that's loud. Oh, by the way, I remembered to bring arrows. Look! <laughs> Wait, did I bring bottles? Yeah, I did, I did, I did. Let's grab some of this. Delicious stuff. Did I get all of them? Yeah, I did. Wow, look at that first time. Okay, it looks like everyone else is starting to catch up. Why am I trying to shoot the dragon? I should be shooting the end crystals. And one more. Oh, come on. I can't get it. No! Okay, now we should be good. We should be good while wow, I went way too high. Ba -ba -da -ba. There we go! Got it! Get him! Or her? I don't know. Oh, Sasquatch died! Oh, calm down! Oh, you're so loud! Ow! Oh, you think you're gonna fly away, do you? Come on! Yep, I can shoot! What are you doing? Stop flying through things! Oh! This will be interesting because whoever gets the last hit will get the achievement and also unlock the Dragon Slayer tag. Nope! Oh! Oh, Squippy died! Why did they just stand there? We're almost done. Who's gonna get the final hit? Ah! Ah, what the hell? Why did you... I didn't even look at you. Bro, I'm kinda busy! Please... Ah, no, 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 don't die, don't die! I can't die on the fight. Where's the dragon? Please! No! <laughs> Not today! This, 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 I've been trying to do this since I launched- Oh, I missed it! Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh. oh, I can't believe I died right at the end. Oh, who actually got it? Hold on, where's the chat? Cheddar Cheese! Cheddar Cheese got the Free the End achievement and the Dragon Slayer tag. Great job, CZ. Right, I, no one has taken the egg yet, which I'm surprised about. Should I take the egg? I feel like I'm going to take the egg. Let's just grab the egg. And there we go! Oh, someone's already climbed up and went to the end islands? Someone must really be in a hurry to grab themselves an elytra. Oh no! Right, hold on. Let's, let's try this again. Right. Oh, this is going to be hard to coordinate. Oh, uh, yay! I did it! That was actually pretty cool. So for anyone who's watching, if you're wondering why we got a dragon egg from the Ender Dragon, where it is clear that I've already been to the end, it's because we have just actually reset the end on the server. The reason for that was that when the server first launched, a few people went straight for the end and basically looted as many end cities as they possibly could. So new players and most other players who joined after that were just having a really, really hard time just finding anything out here, which apparently I'm having a hard time of right now. And we made the decision that since there was no real loss in doing this, we would just give it a good reset and put together a little group event where we would all go and fight the dragon, which happens to coincide with one of my goals, which was to beat the ender dragon. Although I was dead and missed the actual kill. I was still there for it and I helped. That counts. That counts. You know, I've flown quite far already and I can't find a single end city. I still haven't found an end city. I've got one rocket left. Uh, right, here we go, last rocket. Don't let me down. Okay. Okay, just... Just let it... Let myself drift. Oh! Oh my god, that was incredibly lucky. And there's a ship! <laughs> oh, wow! Jeez! Oh, coming into land! Oh, perfect, 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 okay. 
Okay, so I've made my way up to the ship and of course there is the elytra in here. I've already checked these, nothing too amazing. But here's where the fun part comes in. So I've told the guys in chat that if I... <laughs> you can see Sasquatch is watching one of my videos right now. Um, I said to them, they can, I will teleport them here um, using my special admin powers under the condition that they answer a question about my last video. Now I'm just about to ask the question in chat and none of them know what this is yet, so let's see who gets it. So I've just said to them I have a special guest on my last episode of Omnicraft. Who was it? Oh, Cheddar Cheese got it. Well, if your daughter counts, I guess Cheddar wins. So let's teleport Cheddar here. Whoa, what the? What was with that? His head literally spun right around. Well, there you go, my friend. Sky's the limit, you get an elytra. GG! Well guys, I hope you liked that little fly around of the base. As you can see, there's been quite a few improvements since the last time we showed it off. But before we get into those, I wanted to update this. Although I didn't get the last hit, or technically see it die because I got killed by an Enderman, I'm going to count that as a win, so we're just going to add a nice little check mark here under this one. And we're going to do the same with Witherwood, although I'm sure we'll come back to that and add some more things to the city. Create a building for the iron farm, you can see that's already been done and you just saw it, the big giant building over here. So if you didn't realise this is the iron farm now, I wasted a ton of concrete just to make it look like it was an actual building standing on the ground. We have created an automatic smelter array, although I've not made a trading hall yet, I have made the villager breeder, which is this down here, still very much work in progress. Create a concrete factory and finish the silo. Well, I'm sure some of you noticed, this is our concrete factory here. Still needs a lot of work. The silo though, hmm, it'll take a while to get this done, needs a lot of concrete. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys was this. 
I created an upstairs, you may have saw it already, but I have seriously redone and improved the dome. It's now actually symmetrical, and I love the glass framing that I've got on this now, it looks so good. So, we're going to finish this episode by making this space up here nice and cosy, and somewhere we can call home. Oh, and after what feels like a lifetime of resource gathering and building, it's finally done. So, are you guys ready to see upstairs? I can't hear you. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's go up. Boom! Ooh, look at this place. So I wanted it very cosy, as I said. I incorporated my enchanting table room into this. So we've got this dude in here in the middle with the beacon going all the way to the top. Lots of dark oak slabs and stairs and logs and lanterns. A couple of, well, not a couple of banners, a lot of banners to just sort of uh, break up the the logs a bit and you know you you jump up here you come in so yeah after a long day's hard work of adventure and resource gathering all you want to do is hang up your armor for the day and go to bed but don't forget to turn on your nightlight <laughs> putting this dragon egg to good use so i've done these two corners over here, this is my little bedroom corner just to come and relax. And then over here I've got my study. Where I just do some light reading of a blank book and enjoy the heat and enjoy the atmosphere. Have a little sit down and yeah, just take in the environment and think about the day. Now, yeah, I have wasted so many bookcases on decoration, but I absolutely love using bookcases as decoration. The only thing is, is I wish that they matched or you could change the texture of them based on um, other wood types, because obviously they stand out a lot more because they're kind of oaky, but I don't care. Still looks absolutely amazing. So these two areas over here are blank, waiting for a bit more inspiration or potentially suggestions from you guys. Well, everyone, that was quite an episode, I think. Took down the Ender Dragon. It also took me down, but we came back, we put our dragon egg, dragon egg, dragon egg behind us there, and made this cosy little place in stark contrast to the rest of the base. So I am extremely happy with this. Can't wait to hear what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked this. I hope you subscribed to this. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one, everyone.